yeah hi everyone this is jagdish and uh, today i'll going to say about lens formula right so lens formula and derivation of that lens formula right so before deriving the lens formula first we need to draw a diagram right ray diagram so i have considered here a convex lens convex lens the symbol for convex lens upward and downward arrow right and uh, so this is a principal axis this is principal axis and i have placed an object o o prime at a far from uh, uh, optic center right so here one of the light ray right in order to ray, draw the ray diagram and to form an image one of the ray one of the uh, light ray which is parallel to the principal axis right one which is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it passes through the focus it passes through the focus right so other such incident light ray which is passing through the optic center right so it going to in, uh, intersect the first refracted ray at certain point so this point is called image location right so draw a straight line such that it going to be an image height of an image right i i prime is an image and o o prime is an object right so from similarity for example if you see p p prime f and f1 i i prime these two are similar triangles from these two similar triangles i can say uh, write that p p prime by i i prime is equal to p f to f1 i these are distances right p f1 by f1 i so we know for example f1 i we have written so what how we can write the f1 i so from this figure p i is the total image distance p i minus p f1 so if you do so you will going to get this distance f1 i so p i minus p f1 substitute this p f1 sorry f1 i value in equation number 1 so p p prime by i i prime is equal to p f1 by f1 i is p i minus p f1 right so let it be an equation number 3 right so from other set of similar triangles like o o prime p and p i i prime so from this o o prime is an object i i prime is an image o o prime by i i prime is equal to p o by p i right so we know that p sorry o o prime is equal to p p prime o o prime is equal to p p prime so in place of o o prime in this equation i am replacing with p p prime so p p prime by i i prime is equal to p o by p i which is equation number 4 right so compare equation number 3 and equation number 4 now right so if you see p p prime by i i prime is p p prime by i i prime in both the equations the left hand side are same right so now i can write p o by p i which is equal to p f1 by p f minus p f1 right so which is equal to just i am doing smaller uh, thing here is reciprocal p i by p o is equal to p i by p f1 minus p f1 by p f1 p f1 p f1 gets cancelled and you will be remained with p i by p o is equal to p i by p f1 minus 1 right so divide this equation this equation with p i right what happens p i p i gets cancelled you will be remained with p 1 by p o which is equal to p i p i gets cancelled 1 by p f1 minus 1 by p i right so already at the starting we said that p o is an object distance p i is an image distance p f1 is a focal length right by using sign conventions right here the main part is sign conventions right so for example the incident light is in this direction right always the first sign convention is all the distances must be measured only from the pole right p o is an object which is opposite to that of incident light so it can be taken as negative p o is equal to generally we will represent with v u and it is minus u minus u represents it is opposite to that of incident light and pi pi is in the direction of incident light 
so it can be taken as positive pi is equal to v v re represents image distance right next to pf1 it is also same in the direction of incident light so it can be taken as f positive f so apply sign conventions to equation number 5 it becomes 1 by po means minus u and pf1 1 by f minus 1 by pi pi is v right so if you reshuffle 1 by v bring it to here what it becomes 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f right so this is what we want that is called lens formula lens formula is 1 by v minus 1 by u it is equal to 1 by f right f is the focal length u is the object distance and v is the image distance right i hope you have understood right so if you have understood please like this video and share this video thank you everyone